Uh, hi, everyone. It's a pleasure today to come to the Open uh, Education Global 2020. I'm Edith Su from National Chongqing University in Taiwan. So today I'm going to share our experience in the OER practice in blended learning uh, practice to enhance the online learning space. Nice. Uh, as we all know, like the new challenges to higher education nowadays, it's like new economy, uh, intelligence, artificial intelligence, and then blockchain, all these new technology are posing like new challenges to our students. So not like the old days, we our students just need to uh, read the knowledges on the books. They, because now the technology is like developing is so fast. So the students need to get very uh, well prepared when they were in the higher education campus. Like the traditional way of teaching probably not enough to motivate our students to equip them to, with the tools that they need to enter the workforce uh, or to face the challenges in the modern world. And especially during the um, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, I think there was a huge challenge to all of the higher education in the world. So uh, open education, I think it becomes a more and more important issue and it's all the higher education universities need to face the, uh, it's a common challenge. but. As we all know that there's a five R concepts for the open education is the retain, reuse, revise, remix, and then redistribute. But the way uh, the challenging is like, how can the university to assist the professors or the lecturers to get them very well equipped and also motivate the professors who want to have uh, the open education training. Like the open education is not just bring your course materials online or just doing uh, some of the technology way. It involves like so many assistants and involves of so much preparations. So I think for open education, there's another challenging for the higher education professor is like, how can the universities to assist the professors to motivate not just the student to uh, participating in the open education service, also help the professors to get them motivated into the open education environment. So the open education environment should be like very, very friendly because it's, it's open, right? So it should be like open to not just the lectures will be open or the students will be open. I think the environments or the materials should be all open. So the five R concepts is a very important concept in the open education, but then how are we going to realize it or how are we going to practice the five R concepts into the open education in the higher education, for example, in the university's lectures in the class. So I think the method one is the flipped classroom. This is the part we are very, uh, Everyone is like knowing the flipped classrooms nowadays because uh, traditionally the lecture is the a lecturer in, in front of the classroom and the student is sitting in a, in a classroom. So it's just like a one way communication ways for the lecturer to deliver the lecture and the student just uh, sitting down in the classroom to receive the information or the knowledges that the professors, the lecturers are giving them in the class. So the disadvantage of the traditional lecture way is we cannot repeat our lecture material over and over. And also we cannot distinguish like the different learning stage of different students because in each class, we always will have the students like in a poor way. Some students, they can catch the concepts really, really fast. Some students, they are just being like very slow learners. So in the traditional lecture way, it's very difficult or it's impossible for the lecturer, for the lecturer to 
uh, meet different students' different need, and so will be um, maybe the advanced students will probably feel more bored in the class, and the uh, uh, more like low back students probably will feel like they are always behind and then trying to catching up the class. So the flipped classroom. Uh, the advantage for that is the lecturer maybe can prepare some of the pre-class recorded material for the students can be watching it before the class. So the advantage for this is like a student can watch the materials in any speed they would like. If they like to double speed it or they want to repeat it uh, to look at it or to uh, read a lecture over and over, then that's all in there. In there. They can control their time. They can control uh, how much time or like they want to develop or they want to anticipate in it. And then after the student was be then, um, watching the pre-recorded materials in the class, in the classroom activities, then we can have more like a quiz or can have like problem-based learning activities during the class, can have probably more uh, group discussion and can have more like classroom activities engage in the classroom. So this is the advantage for the flipped classroom. So the reuse actually is a very important, like we mentioned in the 5R concept of the open education. So the flipped classroom preparation to reuse the pre-class recorded material actually is very important because for the uh, recorders to record a lecture, it's not just like uh, you've been reading something out loud in front of your screen. So it takes out lots of preparation. For example, you probably need to write a transcript. You probably need to have, if you are more um, skillful or you are more um, picky or have more high quality re requirement for the videos, then you probably need to have a more professional team to help you to record the class material. So, but it depends on everyone has their own favorites. So for the re uh, reduced pre-class recorded material, my experience is like the material you are going to record it is the materials that that won't change for at least like five years. So that in that way, you don't need to write a recorded uh, different material like every year, because if you are not reusing the recorded material, you've been like recording the materials each semester so, or each year, then that will be like also a very tiring uh, process. So like for my example in National Zhongxi University, my uh, specialty is a uh, corporate law. So what I did in the flipped classroom preparation is I will record a corporate law history because history never changed. So then history won't change in, in the future either. So that's well, uh, what I did in the past couple of years that I've been recorded the corporate law, some of the basic fundamental, like the history, that fundamental concept of the corporate law. So the material can be reused like every year during my class. But the don't is like, if in some of the like corporate law in Taiwan, we amended that pretty often, like pretty, like we just have the amendment back in 2018. So if all you're doing like a law amendment recorded material, then the possibility of that you cannot reuse the material will be like very high chance. So the reuse recorded material probably better will be something won't be changed in the uh, last for at least like five years also. So very luckily for the open education in National Zhongxi University, we got a fully support by the school. Like you can see in the picture on the right hand side, this is a professional studio which was provided by our teacher uh, development educational center. So this is like a professional studio, like every professor can make appointment with the uh, teacher developing educational center. So they will have professional staff to help you to record it in the studio. So as, as you can see, 
like this studio, then you can have like professional lights and also the professional transcript readers for uh, if you have written your transcript, like the pre-recorded material being like written out as a transcript. So you will have a transcript machine for you. So in that way, you probably will feel more uh, comfortable or will feel more not need to uh, remember all, all the uh, materials you're going to record it for your for your class. So we have a profession, this professional studio has been like very, very helpful to our, uh, our uh, staffs in National Zhongxin University. Or if you don't like to be in the professional studio, you can be your own directors as well. For example, there are so many softwares like the Evercam, or like the digital whiteboard or like OBS studio or like the active presenters all can help you to become your own directors. And our uh, teaching educational development center also hosts lots of the training sections for the, uh, for the professors, for the lectures or their assistants or the teaching assistants to participate, to know how to use those new uh, uh, new apps and the new softwares to become your own directors so you can film your pre-recorded materials. And also another key point for the flipped classroom is like if you have a flipped classroom set up in, uh, in the campus actually can more motivate the student to participate in like after they've been watching the pre recorded uh, materials. After they come to the classroom, actually, they will be more uh, willing to engage in the uh, group discussion, because probably some of you might know that the Asian students, they, prob uh, they mostly are pretty more, very shy in the class. But after they've been in the flip classroom, so they are uh, divided into the group. And then by all these group uh, discussion questions, the students are more willing to discuss with their group members. So this is the in-class uh, synchronized uh, activities. So the group will be the best, will be like three students are the best. And then circle sitting will also be a very good environment for the students to discuss. Like uh, I have like a small video here, which is what we did in the classroom. You probably won't see that in most of the Asian uh, university class. Like our uh, classroom actually is very, very, all the students, you can see all the group members are very highly uh, participating in the group discussion activities. So. So the second of the five R concept is the revised. So the revised can be supported by the tutors providing assistance and feedbacks group for the tutorial, or some of the professor will create a Facebook group to uh, with the platform for the forum discussion. So I think the uh, for the flipping uh, uh, classroom teaching is that really work or is that really better? I think for the uh, another very important thing for the open education is for we can always by using the data on the numbers, like how many students watching videos or how many are the uh, observation, the uh, uh, study of the student behaviors or how are going they uh, logging online. All those can be a very, very uh, good numbers or good data for the research works. And the second uh, method for the open education here in uh, Zhongxi University is the remixed blended learning. Because as we know, know that the blended learning is a remixed way to create like a pre-class engagement with the in-class discussion and also with the long distance um, classroom. So you can have like online space to ensure that there's integration between the Facebook face, -to -face or, the online, uh, or the online activities. So luckily here in uh, Zhongxi University, we have a, this is we set up like uh, before the pandemic. So in our e-learning system, we have installed the Adobe Connect software into the every professor's e-learning 
space. So for the professors, you don't need to do extra uploading or install other softwares. So uh, by this year, we have more than 40 virtual conference rooms has already set up. And then uh, during the pandemic, we have a, uh, a week for the trial for the whole university. And the whole school is reaching the full capacity. So for the Adobe Connect, all the students can just log in on to this virtual uh, classroom. And also, uh, everyone does, just doesn't need to do any extra work for them. And it's also very easier for the uh, for the professors. And also from uh, 2017, we have a long distance classroom, but from uh, 2020, every school, uh, all of the schools in Zhongxi University will have a long distance classroom in every of their faculties. So the remix is uh, a in class uh, synchronized long distance teaching that we brought, this is a, a class I did with the Indian Technology Institute University back in 2017. Like we converted like two classroom into one. So in our long distance classroom here in Zhongxi University and also another Indian University uh, technology Institute technology student, they were in India. So by the technology, we can convert it to classroom into of the one uh, virtual classroom. So this, uh, this classroom is, we set an example for the very heat topic about the corporate social responsibility. So we give the hangout to two university students, the same hangout for them and also the pre-recorded material for the students can watch it and read the materials before the lectures. And then we have two lectures. One is me from Taiwan. The other lecture is from uh, India. So we both share like half an hour lectures. And then also ask the students questions to two different universities. So the students can see each other by the uh, technology. And also they can also discussion with the Indian side of the university students. And I think this remix way is a very good, uh, especially after, after the pandemic, probably lots of our international students cannot be travel overseas and looks like it's going to be probably won't be end in the very near future. But for like, if we cannot interact with each other face to face by using this new technology, we can convert it like two classroom into one. And now probably we have can see like 40 students from all over the world and can also convert it to one class. But this is another way that we can bring two uh, classrooms into one. And the discussion among like two different culture students two different classroom students, they can discuss with each other and also motivate the students very much. So I think for the uh, open education and in the digital era, everything will have more, probably will be more challenging, especially during this pandemic. So I think my teaching goal in the digital era is for the student is tell me and I will forget. And then show me and I will remember, but involve me and I will understand. So I think for the open education, if we can use the five R concepts that reuse and then remix and then redistribute it, and with, with all the five R concepts that we can bring the environment is very open friendly to the not just the students and also to the worldwide universities uh, professors. So I think but everything doesn't have a magic ballot. So my own three magic ballots are first one is passion and the second one is passion and the last one is still passion. So Thank you very much. <laughs>